Right guys, hope you're doing well. So I've got a couple of things I need to discuss with you. And first of all, I want to mention I've got my first ever video that's gone over a million views, so that's great stuff. And it was a brick arch I did last year. Uh, it's interesting that, because that's one of the first videos that I did in my backyard, just just playing around with design ideas. And, and it's really served me well. It's got me a lot of subscribers, a lot of exposure on YouTube. And I know a lot of you might have thought it was a waste of time and a bit useless, but I knew it wasn't, wouldn't have been, and it was worth the effort at the time. So I think I'm going to be doing more videos just like that. Yeah, I enjoy to do stuff like that. Number two, we're talking about channel memberships. Remember, a bit ago I introduced you to channel memberships. YouTube released a feature on my channel where you can become a channel member if you pay five a month. I'm going to scrap that idea, completely scrap it. I've had an afterthought, and I think it's a bad idea because it's segregating the audience into paid and unpaid and I kind of lost track with what YouTube is at the core and that's a free platform for everybody to come and enjoy and watch content. Because I've got a decent business head on me, I've kind of lost track of uh, what, what the core of what found me really on YouTube and uh, I think I'm just, yeah, gonna like I said, I'm going to scrap the idea and uh, just go back to the basics of what made me popular anyway in the first place on YouTube and that was just making brick lane content, putting it on YouTube and for other people to enjoy and and I'm going to go back to that, I'm not going to ask for anything, I'm just going to give everything away, everything I've learned and, and give it to you all for free and not expect anything in return, that's, that's what I think the best policy moving forward is and I've just got to believe that in time I'll reap the rewards for that gesture just to help other people. I've got to say, and this includes me, that Anyone that starts YouTube, they know that it's a career and they know that you can make money at it. And it, even though it's not solely the reason I started it, it's just because I, I like being creative. But I did know you could make money at it. So anybody that says they didn't start YouTube because they, they know it's a career and they can make money from it is a liar. Right, let me tell you that. Because it is a career and you can make money from it. Albeit it's not a great a lot of money, but it's, it's, it's a decent amount and it goes off the views and the, the more popular your channel gets, the more money you get. You might think I'm earning a lot of money on YouTube, I'm not learning lots, it's just enough to cover my bills and my time for the, what I produce out there. But any money that I, I do get from YouTube in the future will be reinvested into what I'm going to talk about next. All right then, we're on to the final point and I want to stress to you that this is a big move from me and I think it's what I've always had in the, the, the back of my mind and that is that I'm going to start a Best Bricker Academy for bricklayers to be like a training facility where we can all come together and we can work on our skills no matter what skill level you're at, if you're a beginner or you're, if you're advanced if you come out of your time as an MEQ qualified bricker you can work even further on, on I think some more advanced projects than what level 3 teaches you I've had loads of lads reach out for me at college who, who come out of the time and they're still not quite familiar with what to do and, and so no, I, think I, could, uh, I think I could help a lot, of, a lot of young lads from college as well Basically the premise of it all is I've got to compile a course together which I've already got an idea of what I'm going to do. It's going to include not just bricklaying but a lot of life skills and it's going to include for mental health and well-being because I'm a big I'm a big believer that, that that's very important especially for the young lads coming into the trade and even some some of the older guys. I mean it's uh, having gone through them troubles myself in in 2014 really dark times and turning my life upside down because sometimes there's only when you've hit rock bottom there's only one way to go and that's exactly what I did anyway so I've learned a lot from that experience I think I can be that helping hand for anybody that's going through troubles like that let's face it there's a lot of problems in the brick lane industry and suicide rates are more higher in the construction industry than any other industry in the world so that's something to address and I think it can be addressed and we can do something about it. Well, I surely can anyway. So. so that's going to be included in the course. There's going to be other skills as well, which I think are important. Like in the modern world, you need to learn how to use computer. You need to learn how to design, promote yourself. You're a business at the end of the day. Everybody's a business. You're a salesperson, so you need to learn how to sell yourself. Right? I don't care what anybody says. I've learned that this is the best way to move forward and it's what's grown me from zero to where I am today. I've been a bit unlucky that I've not had anybody to walk me through what I've been through. It's been a bit trial and error but I always knew that I would get to where I wanted to be. I've learned a lot from mentors abroad and reading books about the never-ending quest to improve myself and self-development. That's so much so important that self-development and like the, the investment in yourself which is what I've done for so many years now. It's true I mean you, you can't take that away from me so 
I'll just show you a little picture of the unit I've been looking at, which is plenty big enough, lots of space, and it's a good good starter for me really. So really excited about it, guys. You know what I mean? I think I can equip the youngsters and even older people with, with skills that'll propel them to be the best they can be in life. So I've got the attitude now that I've, I'm just going to say what I feel and believe. And if people don't like it, then that's not my problem. I know I'm a good person and I've got good morals. I've come from a good family. I know where I want to be in life. This is the thing now, I've been at rock bottom and now I found my, my self-worth and my value in life. I'm, I'm, I'm reaching for the top and I won't stop until I can provide safety for all my family, my sisters and my future family. I believe that parenting starts even before, way before you're a parent. So that's what I'm working on right now, creating a healthy environment for my family and my kids to grow up in. I know you can learn a lot from the videos, which is fine, and, and some of you might not even want to come to the training facility, that's absolutely fine. But all my efforts now will be going into making free content for you all. Don't expect anything for it, just to enjoy it and share it. To grow my channel and spread the word. And my other focus would be the Brick Lane Training Academy. So to get the young lads in, or of all, all ages, short courses, we could do workshops, and we could perhaps build some of my videos, like a, a curved brick step, we could do that over a weekend or something like, you know, just something interesting. Build things you've never never seen before. And just just generally create a nice community, a nice atmosphere, and, and set up the young lads with skills they need for the future. I know I can't keep everybody happy and sometimes my message doesn't come across well in, in, in a text or a status but believe me I, I do I do mean well and I'm, I'm a good lad and uh, I just want to help other people and like uh, yeah of course I want to make money of, co of course I want to make money at the same time I want to help people I want to I want to be the best I can be I've been at rock bottom I've I've, I've I have been struggling in life and I'm finally getting getting somewhere now so I don't know why people have a problem with it it's the crab in the bucket mentality in it they see somebody doing well they try and drag them down to, to just because they've not found a way out themselves you, you can't get any lower than rock bottom can you you can't get any lower than the bottom of the barrel right so from that point zero excuses time keeps ticking on and, and my worst fear is to get to the end of my life and say I've got regrets that's my worst fear and that's my worst fear for other people as well. To be sat there in a chair at 80 years old saying, I wish I'd have took that opportunity or I wish I'd have done that thing that I wanted to do all my life. 2014, it couldn't get any lower. I was absolutely gone. L totally, totally lost in life. Just just wasted so many years. And it just got to a point where I was just, God, I don't know what to do now. I'm out of ideas completely. I think I'd had five failed businesses in a lot of debt and just no direction, not a clue what to do, no no help off nobody and I, I knew, I don't know, I knew I was something more from that point, not just to roll over and play dead but just, well, there was no other option but to to go that way, to move up and just live without excuses and just start taking chances and opportunities and care less about what other people think of me. Just through sheer determination and the desperation to change and be living to my full potential. I've, I've made changes and I've got to where I am today. You know, with this brick lane training thing, I just want it to be for all ages, but the young lads are important to me. Uh, like, I don't want the young lads of today wasting their 20s like I did, you know, being lost and hanging around with idiots, which is what I did, up to no good. And I don't want that for the young lads. I, if, if I'd have had someone like me, to guide them through the 20s, then I'll be a lot better off sooner than, than I would, would, you know, it would have been. Let me know what you think about the training facility. If you're interested in it, please drop a comment and let me know. Um, just, you don't, it's not going to be a massive course to start off with, but it is going to be an accredited course by the CITB. I'm going to make sure of that. Uh, but we can just do weekend courses or one-day courses, one-on-one -on -one courses just to try and help you with your skill so you know i believe i can pass my skills on to you no problem so that's that's the way and that's the direction i'm going to move in now another reason why i'm setting the facility up is just to have a place where i can make some videos in, inside you know like this behind i'm struggling with like noise next door this side and that side so i need somewhere where i can just do my stuff 
and, and make a lot of it now. So channel membership's gone, so scrap all that idea. Apologies to those that have already subscribed. Not a lot, but those that have subscribed already. I have made three detailed videos with commentary. So, I mean, they, they, are, they was well received by, by the members who joined anyway. So, but I am going to release them on the channel for you anyway. So, yeah, there's three more videos to look forward to there. Really massive push. I've got huge goals for this channel and I'm not going to stop till I get there. So, whatever your perceptions of me, I just want you to know that I'm a good, decent, humble lad. And I'll, I'll never forget where I've come from. I'm, you know what I mean? I, I've come from nothing and I'll always be that way. I'm not. I'm not just trying to rinse the audience, which some of you might believe I am. I'm trying to make, make a living and, and, and have a bit more freedom, that's all. And, and I've got to help a lot of people to do that, and I'm willing to do it. All right, so that's my main goal, because I want, I'm not just doing it for me. Don't, don't, if you think I'm being selfish, right, or, or with my self-righteous speak, speeches, if you think I'm being selfish, I'm not. I'm doing it for, for me and my family and my future family, so. I think you've got to have a bit of selfishness in you to, to achieve that, you know what I mean? I don't want my dad struggling, I don't want my mum getting up working as she's, she is doing like eight, she's working 10 hour days in a reception, stuck behind a reception, I don't want that. She's worked all her life to bring us four kids up and, and my dad as well, you know what I mean? They've done the best that they can and now it's time for them to have a bit of a break. I want to join my dad at sort of Hillside or SNA Golf Club, that's another one of my goals. And to do that, I need to perform, all right? So don't just think I'm doing everything for me. I'm doing it for my family, more, more, more importantly, all right? So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Sorry it was a long-winded one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.